Last time on this channel, we talked about the different European powers in India. Today, we're going to take a look at one of those powers in detail, the French East India Company. There were three main French East India companies in different time periods. The first was Compagnie Française des Orientales, which translates to the French Company of the East Indies. It lasted from 1664 to 1790. Next came Compagnie des Unes, which means Company of the Indies, which lasted only a year from 1719 to 1720. Then last came the Compagnie Française des Unes, translated it means French Company of the Indies. It started in 1720 and ended in 1789. It never restarted after the revolution in France. From the start in 1664, the Compagnie Française des Unes Orientales was always in competition with the Dutch who were already well established. By 1680, with only a few successful expeditions, they were low in funds and their ships were in need of repairs. In 1719, it was absorbed into the Compagnie des Unes. This company, under disastrous financial schemes, suffered major losses during the French economic crash of 1720. The company was reorganized under the name Compagnie Française des Unes. In 1713, after the War of the Spanish Succession, the Treaty of Utrecht was signed in 1713. With that treaty, the Dutch East India Company withdrew to Indonesia, leaving the British and the French the only rivals in India. In 1724, they obtained the territory of Mahe, now in the Indian state of Kerala. And by 1740, the value of the company was more than half the value of the British East India Company. In 1742, Joseph Rosa Duplix was made the Governor General of India, the French part at least. 1746, he captured Chennai, then called Madras, but he was unable to capture the nearby Fort St. David. Duplix made an alliance with local powers, but the British also made alliances with rival Indian powers and a war broke out in 1751. Duplix was called back to Paris in 1754. During the Seven Years' War between Great Britain and France from 1756 to 1763, the French lost the war and the British took over Pondicherry, now Puducherry, the capital of French India in 1761. Because France saw profit from trading in the West Indies, the company lacked government support. Its monopoly over French trade with India was finished in 1769. After they lost their monopoly, they were weakened and then finally shut down during the start of the French Revolution in 1789. The French East India Company had a good run for over 120 years, but due to a lot of reasons, they were shut down. Next time on Twice as Curious, we shall talk about the main rivals of the French in the 18th century, the British and their East India Company. Thanks for watching and remember to stay Twice as Curious.